hello everyone uh, welcome back to pointer technology and i actually missed to say happy new year to everyone so happy new year uh, although it's almost now we are end of uh, of jan well today we're gonna talk a bit about you know the hvac systems i'm not gonna go deeply about the, you know the mechanical part of the HVAC system but somehow we're gonna go with you know some basic introduction of the HVAC system that related to the uh, KNX uh, home remission system so basically the word uh, HVAC is uh, mean you know uh, heating ventilation and air conditioning system uh, in Gulf regions uh, at least we don't have that much uh, heating required <coughs> So as everyone knows that we have the basic type of the AC which, which is a window AC and has been a while you know in 90s and, and 80s so one, one of the you know technologies that are around there uh, and actually it's combined everything in, 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 in one unit so you can have the compressor the uh, evaporator the you know the cooling uh, the coils for the for the expansion, so you have the expansion valve, you have the cooling coils, you have the condenser uh, the coils where it's rejecting the heat to outside, and you have the fan also within the same unit. Um, and then we have the split type uh, uh, AC unit, which is you have one outdoor unit and you have one indoor unit. So basically, here this will be the evaporator, you have to see the condensers outside and you have all this you know the cooling valve tubes that's going <coughs> the connection between the indoor and outdoor so this type of the ac it's actually if you you have noticed this it has a remote ir control so in a knx you can actually link it with the uh, the ir uh, interface of the knx just you need to install it nearby the uh, ac so it's actually a one-way uh, communications one is in the signals which goes and that's it uh, then we have the fan coil unit but for the fan coil unit actually the fan coil uh, it depends if you are using the fan coil unit in uh, chill water uh, system or you have to use in the refrigerant, refrigerant type uh, uh, FCUs so it consists uh, of the fan it has a filter inside the FCUs, it has a coil. Then you have the uh, the cooling valve, and you can actually control this cooling valve with the actuator. And we have the duct, which we've seen in the uh, residential villas, uh, heavily used in the Middle East. Uh, this type of the FCUs, uh, where you have an outdoor unit and an indoor the fan, and then you have a duct. The duct will be both. You have the uh, supply air duct and the retain air duct so this type of uh, FFCUs can be controlled either by the you know in the, in the KNX you have two type uh, you can control by the uh, KNX FCU actuator where you have a connection for the fan speed one two three and you can control the, uh, uh, the you can control the, uh, the cooling cooling valve as a modulated type and in some of the uh, application like hospitality they have a 0 to 10 volt so when you go to 0 to 10 volt control actuator type you can use different one uh, where you have an option for the cooling valve as a 0 to 10 volt output so it can be modulated and plus require a thermostat for sure we'll use the knx uh, thermostat type uh, VRV and the uh, VRF actually the same is the technology is the same names are different uh, so both of them they have uh, you will have a one door one outdoor units and you have a multiple uh, indoor units either can be one to one it can be one to two it can be you know one to many and can be also you know helpful use for the you know heating and cooling uh, installations requirement where you have you know uh, uh, two pipe uh, installations or four pipe installations this type of the uh, systems mainly in the KNX we use the uh, in, uh, what I've you know based on my experience we use the uh, gateways 
to interface into the KNX directly you will see from the data sheet where exactly you will connect this uh, device to the board of the uh, to the board of the BRF system so that easily you can communicate and you can control them uh, it can be either the gateway uh, one to one or you can have one gateway you can handle many uh, of the BRF uh, system AHU is air handling units uh, basically basically in uh, home or nation is, is quite uh, difficult to find somewhere that you have an AHU installed but uh, in uh, let's say a little bit mega uh, palace or you know big villas they use actually the AHU type so in AHU also still you can control the AHU uh, but uh, basically the AHUs will be linked either to the chill chill water, chill water system and we have a different you know uh, module that can be linked and interface the HU to our our system or let's say that for instance if you you have installed the uh, BMS uh, DDC controllers and from the DDC controls you can link it uh, to the KNX system so let us move to the wiring part of the FCU yeah let's just focus on the basic things that uh, related to home automations because uh, I'll actually cover the other part of the chill water systems and the you know the other part of the commercials uh, feedback system in a different video uh, <coughs> so each and every uh, AC in the villas if you want to interface always refer back to the data sheet of the manufacturer you will see that exactly you know uh, which cables from the indoor unit you have to connect for the uh, for the fans okay so basically you will have 24 volt uh, supply and then you have the connection for this is for the cooling valve you will connect the cooling valve and you will connect the neutral and then same for the fan the fans also it has the same 24 volt basically it's, it is the same power source you will connect it here the 24 volt and then you will connect fan speed 1 fan speed 2 fan speed 3 to the indoor unit and this part you don't need to be worried much about because uh, the, the AC uh, mechanical contractor will provide for you these cables but at least you have to make sure that this is the correct cables and you follow the manufacturer uh, data sheet you check exactly which cable where you have to connect and to define also you know to understand whether is it this one the, uh, the, the the cooling valve is it like a 0 to 10 volt uh, modulating type or it is you know 24 volt direct you know control so you have to define this part you know uh, for the VRF wiring is quite simple as I explained earlier so if you have a VRF system you can just connect the gateway to the VRF network they have their own communications uh, uh, ports and that's it the other port will be you know connected to your KNX uh, topology so you can have a control so one to many or one to one for example you have a small gateway you can connect to individual units and you can control so if you have a VRF system I always advise you go to this uh, website go into this website and you come here to the products you select the okay next and you have so many you know so you see which one is the manufacturer for example you know if you have from the uh, a certain you know let's Mitsubishi same one you can just select and you have all the details here you know this is the gateway how it's interface and what's the requirement uh, how many points all the descriptions everything you will find here you know technical you can download you can even you know try to contact them <coughs> if you have you know uh, uh, specific requirements in the projects so that's it a quick catch up about the HVAC system uh, as I promise in the upcoming video I'll try to cover the uh, commercial part we'll talk about a little bit about the chiller the how the chillers are uh, connected what type of the chillers are there and in that one it will be uh, uh, divided into two two type it's not simpler like the homo emissions uh, uh, refrigerant type AC 
software, you will have uh, cooling towers, you have chillers, you have primary, secondary pumps. Uh, you might have also, you know, uh, the, the chiller itself it will be different. You know, maybe it's chill water type, it maybe it's uh, air cooling type. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, just uh, drop me in uh, pointer technology at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you.